All right, now that we've talked about MIDI mapping, I want to show you how to combine instruments and play instruments both together at the same time and also change instruments over the course of your performance. So instead of having Wavetable and Analog Lab on different tracks, I can put them on the same track and make a group. So I'm just going to go to Wavetable here, and I'm just going to do a Command G to create a group. Right, that's in here. I'm just going to open up this group. And this brings up the chain list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the analog lab into this group. And I'm just going to delete this track. So now I'm going to call this soft synths, right? Since it's all on one track. And now if I play my push, I'm going to hear both instruments at once. So I can layer these instruments and I can bring the volume up or down on each of them, depending on which one I want to be more in focus. So let's just go ahead and solo each one. This one seems a little hectic to me, a little bit louder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring the volume down on the analog lab. I'm just gonna say minus three, maybe even more, let's see. Yeah, that's a good level for me. So I've created my first layered instrument here. And basically anytime I come to this track, I'm gonna play this layered instrument. Now, if I wanted to get really fancy and I wanted to add a bunch of different instruments and play them at different times, I could do that. So I'm gonna open up what's known as the zone editor of the chain selector. And so as you can see right here, both of these are at zero here, all the way at the bottom of the range. And now I could just put the wavetable on zero and analog lab on one. So that means when the chain selector here is all the way down, we're only gonna hear wavetable. Now, if I move the chain selector up to one, we are gonna hear analog lab. So let's add a couple more instruments just to have a little bit of fun with this. Let's see what this guitar is here. I'm gonna add this to chain selector two. I'm gonna go ahead and move this to two. All right, so we've got three instruments in here now. So you're probably wondering, okay, why would I need to do this? Right, well, so, if I have all of these instruments on one track, then as I go through different songs, I can switch which one of these instruments I wanna play very, very easily using something called an automation clip. So I'll show that to you in just a moment. But the way that you set it up is by bringing in macro controls. So I'm gonna open up the macros and I'm gonna go ahead and map this chain select ruler to one of the macros. So now when I move this chain selector, it's going all the way across this ruler. And so I can also constrain the region of this by going into my map mode. We only have, are going up to two, right? So the max here is just gonna be two. And so now when I move the chain selector, it's all the way up, we're gonna be on our guitar sound. So what you can do, just gonna hide the IO for a little bit more real estate. Say I wanted to play the wavetable synth in the first song, Transmute. I could just double click here and create a clip. Then I'm gonna go into my envelope section here. And as you can see, the chain selector is already selected. So once I click on something, then within the clip, it'll automatically be selected here. And so I want this to be zero, right? Because wavetable is zero. And I'm just gonna label this wavetable. Cool, all right. And now I'm just gonna copy this down and then I'm gonna call this one analog lab. And then we're gonna go to one here. All right, so when we play transmute, 
we're gonna play the wavetable. And then when we go to On My Own, we are going to play the Analog Lab. So you could probably see how this chain selector jumped from wavetable to Analog Lab. So that is a very simple way that you can layer instruments and use the chain selector so that you can change whatever instruments you're playing throughout your song. And if you're working in arrangement view, it's exactly the same. You have the instrument rack here and you have the chain selector and you can go ahead and do your automation just like we did over here in the session view.